And remember, we divided the sea for you and saved you and drowned Pharaoh's people within your very sight. And when the two bodies saw each other, the people of Moses said, We are sure to be overtaken. Moses said, By no means. My Lord is with me. Soon he will guide me. Then we told Moses by inspiration, Strike the sea with thy rod. So it divided and each separate part became like the huge, firm mass of a mountain. And we made the other party approach thither. We delivered Moses and all who were with him, but we drowned the others. The glorious Quran informs about the end of the Pharaoh with the verses given above and states that the Pharaoh and his army were drowned in the sea. Now let us pay attention to the following verse of the Quran. The 48th verse of the Surah Al-Ankabut states the following. And thou wast not able to recite a book before this book came, nor art thou able to transcribe it with thy right hand. In that case, indeed, would the talkers of vanities have doubted. According to the explicit declaration of this verse, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, did not know how to read or write. Neither did he write a letter, nor did he read a letter. While this is the fact, then, how did he inform about the Pharaoh who had lived ages ago before him and his drowning in the sea? Let us put the answer of how he did inform us off and search the answer to the following question. Did Pharaoh really die by being drowned in the water? Has this news of the Quran about the end of Pharaoh been approved? Now we want to read the related Egyptian papyrus number six, which dates to the time of the Pharaoh in the British Museum, England. From Amenemone, head of the protective books of the White Room of the Palace, to the scribe, Pinterhor. When this letter reaches you and has been read point by point, surrender your heart to the sharpest pain. Like a leaf before the storm, when you learn of the sorrowful disaster of the drowning in the whirlpool, Calamity struck him suddenly and inescapably. The sleep in the waters has made something helpless out of something great. Depict the destruction of the lords, the lords of the tribes, the king of the east and the west. What news can compare to the news I have sent you? Here in this scripture, there is a clear explanation about the Pharaoh that he was drowned in the sea. That is, the sixth Egyptian papyrus approves the news of the Quran. The news of the Quran has been approved by historical scriptures. Now let us look at our first question. How could a person who did not write or read a letter know and learn the disastrous end of a person who had lived ages before him? If we do not accept the Quran as a word of Allah, then how can we answer this question? Otherwise, do we consider this a coincidence? No, this cannot be a coincidence. This question must have an answer. 
This question has only one answer and it is as follows. This book was sent by glorious Allah, who knows all times from past to future. Allah Almighty informed us about the events of the past and future with the Quran and made this news a miracle of the Quran. Yes, how could the people who deny the Quran to be a word of Allah explain the miraculous news of the Quran that informs us about the drowning of the Pharaoh in the sea and its other news about the unseen? Not accepting this book as a word of Allah means ignoring the truth and denying the reality. The Quran is a book and word of Allah with the correctness of its news about the unseen.